This video that you're watching right now is data that's being transferred to you through a wire, which is then decoded, making it into something viewable on your device. And that's the internet, bada bing, bada boom. No, I'm just kidding. It's a lot more complicated than that. But part of what we call the internet is information that travels through wires from servers, satellites, data centers, or other computers to your personal router. These wires are more formally known as fiber optic cable. And did you notice the important part of that name, fiber optic cable? That's because all that data, the information being transferred to you as you request it from your web browser on your desktop or the banking app on your phone, physically travels through the wires in the form of light. Pulses of light are sent from the data's point of origin through the cable. Photons bouncing around inside that cable travel to the other end, where there's some kind of receiver, like a photodiode or a photoelectric cell. And this device is what translates those packets of light in their given pattern back into electrical information that your computer can then understand and present to you as the information you asked for, like a web page. That's crazy, right? Well, it's about to get even crazier. New research has just demonstrated the feasibility of the world's first nanophotonic device. See, in most standard systems, we currently only use a fraction of light's capacity to transmit data. And this is because we haven't previously had the technology to decode anything else. But new efforts are making use of light beyond the visible spectrum, like ultraviolet waves. And in this version of data transmission, the light is not just photons pinging around, reflecting their way down the inside of the cable. The light waves, both visible and not, oscillate in a particular way to form a twisted pattern, also known as orbital angular momentum, or twisted light. Because twisted light is made up of more modes of light, that light is able to carry more information. In fact, because the light traveling through the fiber is made up of different kinds of twists, they can even overlap with one another, each carrying a different data stream all at the same time without interfering with each other. But we have to have something at the other end of that fiber that can then decode all that packed in information, right? And this brand new nanophotonic chip can do exactly that. Using something called ultra-thin complementary metal oxide semiconductor technology, which is quite a mouthful, the team has successfully demonstrated what they call compact high-precision angular momentum nanometrology. Man, that vocab is something else. I liked it when we were just calling it twisted light. Basically, the technology we used to have to decode even a smidgen of that twisted light data was the size of a table. And now it's the size of an ultra thin wafer that fits onto the end of an optical fiber, bringing us a little closer to the use of twisted light in the real world. Because the thing is, we don't just use fiber optic cable for accessing the bountiful power of the internet. We also now use it to carry our phone conversations, to broadcast TV, and even in medical applications to measure vital patient statistics like cell pH or the presence of medicine or toxins in the bloodstream. Vastly enhancing the amount of data that can be sent through fiber optic cable and then importantly processed and translated at never before seen speeds and in a usable way could transform our whole informational world. Chances are though, this won't be used to bring the consumer that much more computing power. It's more applicable in cases like finding better ways to communicate with vehicles in space, or potentially providing a way for us to process and use the information that would hypothetically come from quantum computers, which would be leaps away from the complexity and size of the data that we work with in our current computing systems. What can we say? The future looks bright, twisted bright. Fun fact, reportedly 99% of international data passes through wires at the bottom of the ocean called submarine communications cables, thousands of miles long. Thanks for always coming back to Seeker for your breaking science and tech news, and don't forget to subscribe to be the first to know how this technology goes into action. For more like this, check out this video on ferroelectricity here, and we'll see you next time.